After a very mild start to the winter in December and early January, it has turned bitter cold here in the Chicago area in late January, and it's about to get even colder. Today I thought I'd give you an update on how our winter crops are doing after days with temperatures below zero degrees Fahrenheit and a low of negative six. It's only seven degrees outside right now, but it's sunny and that makes a huge difference because it's much warmer here in the hoop house. In fact, it feels like a nice spring day. And it's even warmer under double cover where our plants are. For example, right now it's 67 degrees in this cold frame. And even though it's been as cold as minus six degrees Fahrenheit outside, it's only gotten down to about 18 degrees Fahrenheit under double cover. Well, I was definitely overdressed for our nice warm microclimate here. So I decided to take off a layer. And what I wanna do now is uncover our crops, take a look at them to see how they're doing, see if we've lost anything. And I wanna harvest crops before the next cold spell. It's about to get really cold. We're expecting a low of negative 20 Tuesday night and a high of negative 13 on Wednesday. So I wanna harvest crops before that bitter cold comes to get the most out of our harvest. Let's get started. As I mentioned in my last video, I added a third layer of cover in preparation for the extreme cold that we're having. And uh, this is Agrabond row cover. Let's remove it and take a look at how our crops are doing. Well, this is Tatsoi right here. And that's one of the crops I was most concerned about losing to the cold. And as you can see, it's perfectly fine. If I feel the soil around here, the soil isn't even frozen. So we've had a number of nights below zero and a low of negative six. And I can stick my finger all the way down in the soil. So it's not even frozen. So that's a really good sign so far. So let's harvest some tatsoi. Excuse me, Oscar. Always, no, don't go in there, honey. Always gotta be a part of the show, don't you? These plants are perfectly fine. Not even showing much stress, just a tiny bit. And one crop that I wasn't concerned about losing last week, despite the sub-zero temperatures, is lettuce. But with the even more extreme cold on the way, I am going to harvest some more lettuce today to make sure that we get a good harvest before we potentially lose crops to the cold. And I'll just harvest the outer leaves for now. And I'm very happy to see that it doesn't look like we've lost a single plant in this low tunnel. That's very good news. I was a little bit worried when I came out here. I'm only seeing a little minor stress on these plants so far this winter. They look really good considering. Because I'm focusing on harvesting greens that may not make it through the week next week, I won't even bother to harvest this Claytonia or miner's lettuce. This will have absolutely no trouble surviving the winter. And we also have some spinach mixed in here. Also very cold hardy. I'm just going to let that grow. And this right here is purple mizuna, another mustard green that I was concerned about. Also not having any trouble with the cold so far. But I'll harvest a bunch because it's about to get a lot colder. And while I'm in the neighborhood, let's also harvest some parsley. This is a volunteer plant. We let them go to seed in the spring. And they come back for us later in the year. Nice and warm, huh, Oscar? So now I've moved on to our second low tunnel. And once again, I don't see any plants that didn't make it through the cold. Everybody seems to be doing just fine. Okay, now I've moved on to our cold frames and we have pretty much the same story. Everything looks fantastic. But we do see a little wilting right now. But believe it or not, I think that's because the plants got too hot 
because I waited a little bit too long just now to remove the cover and they, it got a little too warm in here for these plants. I don't think it was the cold. Let's get some more Mizuna. Let's load the truck, move to the country. Leave the city far behind. Plant the garden and live simply. And grow our peace of mind. We'll rise early and speak softly. Though no one else will hear. Watch the sun poke through the pine tree. And breathe the country air. If we could, we'd leave tomorrow. For a cabin on a mountain stream. But this city has a hold on us. So for now, we'll have to dream. Well, I'm done with my harvest, and it's starting to feel downright hot in here, at least with this sweatshirt on. I'll be back tomorrow to harvest more before the extreme cold on Tuesday. And I'm also thinking of possibly, for the first time ever, setting up some sort of space heater here in the hoop house, as long as I can do it safely, but I'm not sure about that quite yet. So I'm going to head back inside, enjoy this salad, and it looks like Oscar isn't ready to come in yet, so I'll give him a few more minutes. You chase the train, I hit the highway. As we count down the days One day closer to the country One day closer to the dream